Hi, I'm Karen Walker, and welcome to this week's Tuesday 2x2. I'm an executive coach and consultant and speaker, uh, and each week I do a short two-minute uh, video to explain two concepts that, when opposed, will yield four quadrants that we can talk about, i.e. a 2x2. Two two. Um, this week we're going to look at something I think is particularly relevant when, now that people are starting to transition back to the office in some cases. Um, the two concepts we'll look at, the first is on the horizontal axis, which is whether we're working from home or working from the office, two very different environments. Uh, if you think about it, working from home is a place that's had a lot of variables, uh, and working from, from the office typically has had very few variables, although over the next coming weeks there will uh, definitely be some for us. Um, on the vertical axis, we'll be looking at your comfort with ambiguity. Are you very comfortable with a lot of variables and unknowns, things that are outside of your control, um, or are you very uncomfortable with those things? Most of us are somewhere uh, on that continuum, not at the extremes, uh, but that's what we'll be using for this axis. So if we start uh, in the uh, upper left-hand quadrant this week, this is what I call block and tackle. So these are people who are very comfortable with ambiguity, uh, and going back to the office for them um, is probably not going to be a big deal. It's just like, okay, what's next? Uh, what is it that I have to do different? Uh, let me figure out a plan to do that, um, and they will just block and tackle their way and deal with whatever those obstacles are. Um, in the upper right, uh, we have what I call go with the flow people. This is sort of the Zen type. Uh, life happens, right? And so it's just whatever comes up next is what comes up next, and you just get through it. Um, it's no big deal. Um, in many cases, it doesn't even require a plan. You just deal with whatever is coming up in front of you. Um, again, it's lots of uh, unknowns, but also um, lots of comfort with ambiguity. And that's been our situation uh, working from home the last uh, many weeks or months for some of us. Uh, and people who are in this in place working from home has not been a big deal. Now, in the bottom right hand, uh, this is the high hurdle spot. These are people who are uncomfortable with ambiguity and also working from home. So these are folks who have a lot of unknowns, a lot of variables, a lot of things outside their control that they are not comfortable with. And um, I think the most important thing here is how we treat either ourselves, if we're in that situation, or others. Uh, and for me, the answer is try, try to be as compassionate as possible, try to offer as much help as possible, and try to reduce the amount of unknowns um, if there's anything I can do from the outside uh, in terms of uh, working with these people. Um, I will say after a few months, uh, the number of variables have decreased for most of us, right? We've gotten more comfortable being on Zoom all day. We figured out how to deal with our Zoom fatigue. Uh, we've got our lighting better. Uh, we've taught our spouses uh, not to make noise while we're on the phone or, you know, whatever. The variables are less. And so that's a little more comfortable now than it was in the beginning uh, for people who are in the high hurdle spot. Now, on the bottom left, we have what I call the flat road situation. So these are people who are uncomfortable with ambiguity, um, but they are now transitioning back to work from office. Uh, so typically, working from the office is no big deal for these people because there are very few variables. Perhaps your commute, but you've probably pretty well figured out how to deal with that. Uh, but now, going back to the office has a lot of variables. So I think about this as a speed bump, right, or a stress bump in the road. Um, so you may be going from a place, if you were working from home and now transitioning back to the office, uh, where um, you even have more variables uh, that you can't control uh, than you did the previous week when you were working from home. Uh, so again, just try to be um, a little compassionate with yourself, uh, give yourself a break. Um, and uh, the thing you can do as a manager here is to make sure that you give everyone as much information as possible and as soon as possible about what you know. Uh, because that will help people uh, sort of reduce the number of variables that they're carrying around uh, in terms of the unknown. So that's this week's 2x2, two two, uh, our Back to the Office edition. Um, I hope you found it useful. If you want more information about this 2x2 two two or uh, any other, you can follow me um, on all social media platforms at Karen Walker US, or you can sign up for my newsletter on my website uh, which is just karenwalker.us. I would love to hear how this applies in your life, particularly people who are transitioning back to the office. Please leave comments in the box below. Uh, and as always, take good care, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.